Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really quick one. It's going to be about a topic that I feel like I should have talked a bit more about in my KetoCon vlog, and it basically ties in with why I choose to eat a more carnivore diet and why I think that is a better option than a traditional keto diet. So if you want to hear my thoughts on why I think carnivore is better than keto, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, feel free to share and make sure to subscribe. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to KetoCon, which was, oh my God, just so amazing. Everything from all the speakers, just every single person I met was incredible. The whole event itself just was really well organized. Kudos to everyone who made it happen. Yeah, it really was just a great time. So if you haven't watched that video yet, check it out. But anyways, in that video, I mentioned that there were so many vendors selling things like keto cookies, keto chocolate, keto ice cream. And I also said all of these things were really delicious. Now, I want to backpedal a bit. I guess for anyone who's new, I eat a mainly animal-based diet, so it's more or less like 90, 95% carnivore. I eat a lot of beef, a lot of eggs, a lot of butter, decent amount of fish, lamb, cod liver oil, organ meats, all that jazz. I do include a few plants though, and this is the part that's not carnivore. So I do still drink coffee. I'll eat things like avocados and olives on occasion and just some vegetables. But really, the reason I'm carnivore and not keto is because eating more animal foods just makes me feel better. I get comments every day being like, how are you eating like this? There's no fiber. <laughs> Guys, we don't need fiber. Honestly, in terms of things such as digestion and bloating, low or no fiber is a game changer. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous. We've all been told that we need to eat fiber for healthy digestion, but try it out guys. Go a couple of days without fiber, just eat meat, eggs, whatever else, and the results speak for themselves. Anyways, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. What I was trying to get at is I thrive on a diet that is simple. I feel really, really good eating meat and eating little to no fruits and vegetables. I don't usually include any artificial sweeteners or things like that. I find that my sweet tooth is triggered by these things. Even if I have something that's sweetened by stevia, it just makes me want more and more and more. So I usually steer clear from any keto treats once in a while, yeah. I'll have some like dark chocolate or there's this really good low carb ice cream that they have at my grocery store. It's an Australian brand. It's fantastic, but I can't start eating it and not finish the tub. So yeah, at KetoCon, they had so many of these treats, so many samples, and I indulged a bit. But here's the thing. <sighs> I think these products are doing more harm than good. When you switch from the standard American diet to a diet lower in carbs, whether that be keto, carnivore, just low carb in general, you really need to, I guess, be switching your mindset. If you're just trying to replace all your old foods with low carb versions of them, so yeah, for me, I love ice cream. There are some good low carb ice creams out there, but the thing is, if I were to eat those as often as I used to eat ice cream, I would ultimately just be in the same place. Like I said, we really need to be shifting our mindset and getting away from, I guess, the idea that we always need to be snacking, that we need to have dessert after every meal, things like that. 
I think people who find the most success on a keto diet are those who keep it really, really simple. Eat two, maybe three meals a day, intermittent fast, eat mainly meat and vegetables for their meals. And yeah, don't really give in to all these indulgences. And that's also why I think carnivore has uh, just that little edge on keto. It is so simple. You don't have the option for all these keto treats, keto desserts, keto snacks. You really have to <laughs> break up with stevia, any other sweeteners to be successful on carnivore. And I think that is why people who were previously plateaued on keto break through that when they switch to carnivore. I don't know if this is kind of all over the place, so hopefully you're following along. Basically what I'm trying to say is keto is becoming more mainstream. There are more and more keto products that are popping up. And I think that can be a good thing for someone who is first trying to make the transition, who can't really imagine not eating bread. But I think there has to be a point in your keto journey when you break up with these things. For most people at least, if you are finding success including them, just forget what I'm saying. You have found something that works for you. But if you are someone who is plateaued on keto, try dropping the stevia. Try dropping those keto bars. Maybe switch to a more animal-based approach. That is what I find to work the best for myself and I have seen it work well for so many other people. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Like I said, I hope you're following along. <laughs> eh, it's kind of kind of a bit of a ramble, but yeah, I, eh, I'm a bit torn. I do think there are some keto products out there that are helpful and especially helpful for someone who's transitioning, but I do think there is that tipping point where we're still relying on them and where we need to give them up if we want to reach our goals. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And let me know in the comments down below if you are someone who eats these keto treats regularly, maybe you gave them up, how do you feel now? Yeah, just let me know your thoughts. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.